I've got a nice little bronze valve here of a Sentinel steam wagon. It's a what they call an oil telltale, it's a little test cock to make sure you've got oil going into the steam engine. What I want to do is modify that thread there to be the same as that one. I have got a die. Half inch BSP, so it's going to make it quite a simple job just to put a die down there once I get it machined down. Also on the end of here it's got this nut welded on. It's been nicely made but that's absolutely horrible. So I'll modify that as well, take that nut off and make something similar to that. Which is much more pleasant. So we'll machine this down to size, put some threads on there and then see what I can do about that. I'm just going to grip it on that hex in the three jaw chuck and it's already got a hole in so I can put a centre in there, get it running nice and true and I'm sure I've got a tail stock die holder that will accept that size of die. The noise you can hear in the background is my little diesel heater starting to fire up because it is really cold in here and I can't work in the cold anymore, I don't like it. As you can see my hands basically completely healed up now. Stitches were taken out and it's uh, it's working fine just the way it should be. Lane's cold, it's not been run for a couple of days, so I always like to run it slowly at first just to get some oil around the headstock before we start with the actual cutting at a higher speed this is bronze machining very nicely be really good quality material the Fat Zero, the Vernia or the Calipa on there and that gives me a direct reading of how much material I want to take off Basically two mil. Put a half mil cut on first. That'll take one of it. Look at it again. Just on that one mil left, 10 on size. I'm going to put a little chamfer in the front and I'm going to put a little cut out in the back just like that just so it goes all the way in. There's a parting tool for that.
a nice little lead for the die to start on. You can't cut bronze driver a little bit of cut and rubber again won't do any harm at all. I'm just going to feed this on by hand. It's a reasonably new die, or it's a very old die, but it is nice and sharp. And all this is doing is keeping it nice and straight and parallel. It certainly feels like it's cutting a nice thread. it all the way up. I've got quite a lot of these BSP dies and taps given and they've proved to be really worth that, that weight and gold basically that's a lovely square thread nice so that's that little part done take the valve apart now and see what it's like inside but that's absolutely horrible lad I'm gonna I can't let that go like that well, that's quite nice that looks like stainless that the little tape I'd seat in there and the tape I'd seat on there. So I think if I grind the weld off there, that nut should screw off and then I can do something different. Nasty mark on there, it's been some rough bastards had it in the vase. The person that did that is not the same person that machined the valve. There's no doubt about that. And so if we screw that back in there grind that off and then go from there really but I don't need that back in there do I I can grip it in the alloy jaws on there without doing any damage grind the top of that off and then see if we can make something a lot better It's not even the right spot, that bastard's warm. It's not even the right thread, that. It's been stuck on top and then a, a bit of well slabbered on. John, you must stop touching hot things. I'll clean the end of that up so I can screw it out. That looks like a UNF thread on there or a metric thread even. the layers the machine not horrible snotty well love I don't want to damage the threads in the brass pot we'll be back in a second <coughs> I'm sure that's metric right the threads actually 516s BSF which is I suppose what it should be. Just 
steamed up quite nicely. Happy with that. I've got a piece of stainless steel in here. We can use that to make a, an end for the valve. We'll put some BSF threads on the end of it first. Top and drill for 516 BSF is 6.8. Same as it will really. Not sure how good this top is, we'll give it a try. It's pretty good. thread on there I know I can, well, I can shorten it down and I want the thread to bottom out on the valve spindle so I can get it nice and tight. That valve is fully closed there so we need clearance between which I need to shorten that Right, that's bottoming out now on that thread and the valve is fully closed. So we've got clearance between the end of the little piece we're making and the top of the valve. The valve's fully shut there. So I can cut this off, probably put a dome end on it, screw it back on with Loctite and I'll probably put a pin through there which can be used to open and shut the valve anything's better than what was on there. Chamfer on your there. 
probably with a plain chamfer on the end of there look quite nice. Something like that. Make sure there's no grease on the threads. And I've clamped the little pot I've made in that collet chuck just so I can tighten it on. Let's go and blow these out. Right, <coughs> drop a lock tight on there. I'm going to pin it as well, but we'll be belting braces, I think. Come on. Go up. Don't take much. Just be nice to get some out of the bastard tube. That's it. Right, now it's got a really good hold in there. Splendid. I'm going to find the centre of this and drill a hole through it and I'll make a little pin to go through the, the hole. I've got some 4mm silver steel and I want to drill this just under 4mm so hopefully that will work out quite nicely. We'll find the centre of that first and then go from there. Right, so now I should be dead in the centre. It certainly looks to be in the middle. We'll centre drill first. Hope it'll start nicely on there. Sometimes you use a little miller cutter to put a flat on, but a centre drill should start on there alright. Nice little short one. Yep. Dead in the middle, and that's going to catch the end of that shaft there. I'm happy with that. Just going to speed this machine up a little bit. Let's change the belts. Bed up. I may put a little support in there, just, I don't want to bend this. Better. That means there's no chance of us bending that. Let's stop all the flex.
Here's how much I use this little hand drill. Right. Right. So hopefully that's going to be a nice fit in there. The pin is very, very slightly bigger than the hole. There's not a lot in it. And that's certainly tight enough. It's not going to, not going to drop out. Right, so compared to what was on there, that's no comparison really, that's very nice. we we'll put the valve back together now. Excellent. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do because we're getting very, very near to the 100,000. Anyway, thanks for watching and once again, thanks for all the well wishes.